Now, folks, before we delve into the market stuff and the Fed and all that, I want to jump the gun on this crazy new Biden rule to eliminate gas powered cars. I mean, the guy can't help himself. Once again, President Biden is trying to kill gasoline powered cars. You'd think he'd learn how unpopular this is, but he hasn't learned. And he's sending his EPA back into action with new tailpipe emissions rules that would basically knock out combustion engines by 2032, which is really only about eight years from now, maybe less. So let me get this right. In eight years, Joe Biden wants to knock out an industry that for about 125 years has been one of the backbones of the entire American economy. Now, how arrogant can you get? I will call it chutzpah, 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 whatever it is. Last year, EVs made up less than 8% of new car sales. Ford took a $4.7 billion operating loss on its own EV business. EVs are significantly more expensive than gas-powered cars. There aren't remotely enough electric battery chargers available. Something like 172,000 were installed last year, while estimates suggest you need 2 million by the year 2030. Most of all, Americans don't want EVs. They don't want to hang out for hours to fill up their battery when in three minutes they can fill up their gas tank. They don't want to pay more. They don't like all these overeducated left-wing Green New Deal Biden bureaucrats to tell them what to do, what to buy, how to breathe, or anything else. It's the same story with these climate extremists taking away gas stoves or hot water heaters or pizza ovens or shower heads, dishwashers, microwaves, air conditioners, ceiling fans, and on and on and on. You can almost hear people screaming, stop telling me how to live and what to buy. Of course, the assault on gasoline cars removes consumer choice. This is supposed to be a free country, but the Green New Deal grats don't think we should have a free country with real consumer choice, do they? Meanwhile, Detroit and the existing American car industry will be destroyed. Hundreds of thousands of jobs will be lost. Wages will go down. And by the way, there'll be less carbon emissions on balance? Will there be? I don't think so. The commodities necessary to make the batteries and the batteries themselves will actually release massive amounts of carbon. And then, of course, when you plug in the batteries, you need electricity, and it's not going to be all solar or wind, so therefore you'll need even more carbon emissions. Meanwhile, the EVs are heavier. They damage tires and roads, which requires more tires and roads, and therefore emitting more carbon. And then there's the Chinese story that the Bidens remain in complete denial about. China has the battery commodities, China has massive subsidies to supply batteries and build EVs. China is already flooding the world market with cheap cars, mostly EVs. Now they want to route their cheap EVs through Mexico in order to avoid tariffs when sold in the U.S. Can the Bidens really believe that average Americans don't understand all this? That we're being taken to the cleaners by China? That American jobs won't be lost, towns damaged, communities hurt, all because of something called climate science that itself makes no sense at all? You know what? Donald Trump was right last week when he pointed out that President Biden's EV mandate will do great harm to the U.S. car business. You might even say it'll cause a bloodbath. And that's my riff.